Hi, I'm Trent Anderson. When I began to think about possible podcasts to pitch ideas for, I was sitting in a folklore class, and we were talking about legend trips. Now, a legend trip is defined as a nocturnal pilgrimage to a scene of tragedy or paranormal activity. So I had this idea of recording a podcast while actually on a legend trip. I had gone on a few of these legend trips as I thought about it. It was something that I did with roommates when I was in high school. Outside of this idea though, I had no idea how it would actually work logistically. I had to figure out how to record an episode while finding locations and keeping the sound quality good. As I talked to some people, I got some great response and people were really excited about the idea and said they saw the potential of it. So I decided to go out and record an episode. I didn't take much thought into how it actually work. All I knew is that I wanted to do it. So I went to Bridalville Falls to test out this idea. There were some cool urban legends that I had heard about the location and thought it might be interesting to talk about them while listening to the sounds of the river and the waterfall in the background. I didn't have a plan really, and I wasn't quite sure how it would work. All I knew is that I needed to go out and try something. It had just snowed and my phone was dying, which was the first problem. It ended up being a five minute episode of me just reading a story typed up on my phone and recorded on my phone, which was the second problem. Needless to say, it was not a successful episode and in nothing like I had imagined it would be, but I didn't let that discourage me. I knew that the first try wouldn't be quite what I had imagined and that I was gonna have to try something different. I needed to have a better location with better sounds. I remembered an abandoned house that I had gone to a few times when I was in high school. It had some crazy stories about Ted Bundy and that had been passed around throughout the school. I remembered some of the weird stuff that was in there and thought that I could create a better episode. So I drove up there and went and recorded something. This time I was able to create an episode that I was more proud of and off we went. So I launched this episode and then I went out and recorded another mirroring what I had just created. I was really proud of what I had created yet I knew something was missing, but I wasn't sure what it was. It really, um, I reached out to different people to get some feedback to figure out what I was missing. I was missing a more compelling way of telling the story and capturing the sound while I was at these unique places. I went ahead and took that feedback. This time though, I went out to these locations first and began to scout to see what I was working with. What kind of things were there that I could utilize for the sound. Uh, what could I bring with me to make a more compelling story by having more things to make sound? As I had gotten some feedback on the quality as well of the sound, so I found a different recording app and even broke my podcast into different segments. I would record some of the episodes in a studio and then edit it in GarageBand and even add some background music. I then went and did research on all the locations so that I could provide some historical background and context for the location that I was at and the legends that we would go into. As I was able to do this, I was able to create a more complete and finished product that I could be proud of to put out to a larger audience. Then I had a crazy idea. What if I went back to those locations and those that I had previously been and totally redo the episodes about them to match the same production quality that I had just created for this new episode? So I went out and I redid them. It took a lot of time and effort revisiting these places and planning out what I really wanted to do. Researching more about each of them and then going out and actually just recording the episode. Then I took it one step further and began to take pictures and write more about the experience of the podcast and of these legend trips so that I could create a more in-depth experience like some of the other podcasts that I was trying to mirror my own after. This process of launching and reiterating is what made Legend Trip a success. I had a lot of potential, but I had to get down to the nitty gritty and go out and just do something, make a rough draft, get some feedback, and then go and do it again. That's the secret to this whole process. You can't be afraid of putting out a product that isn't finished. It won't ever be perfect the first time, but if you continue to get more ideas and feedback, you'll be able to produce something that you can be proud to stamp your name on and put it out for the rest of the world to see.